Hi guys, today I'm going to be opening up this book outlet box as well as showing you all the other books that I got this month for June. It's a pretty large stack. It doesn't even fit in the frame. That's all the things that I've gotten for this month. Most of them I got from thrift stores, but I'll show those to you towards the second half of the video. The first half I'll be opening up this. Um, I also want to note that if any of you are here for my Owl Crate videos, the Owl Crate box has been delayed. So I'm not sure when that will come out. It'll come out as soon as I get the box in. So I'm pretty excited to open this. I've had this sitting here for a couple of days because I didn't have a chance to unbox it on camera. So I'm going to do it now with you guys. So it came with the paper. And then let me show you the inside. Sorry about that. I'm glad that was empty. So there's the inside of the box. And the first thing I got is the Bromance Book Club. I'm very excited to get into this. It's been on my wish list for a long time and I saw it on Book Outlet so I had to pick it up. Um, next is Catherine House. I've heard a lot about this one and I've also seen um, Books and Lala talking about this one so I had to pick it up for that. Um, it also has a blurb from Rory Powler Powers at the top who did Wilder Girls and I really enjoyed that book. So she also read this one and enjoyed it. Um, and then we have Sight Witch, which I haven't started this series yet, but I wanted to get them all before I did. So now I have three or four of them. I think I have one left to get, but I have to double check on that. I also got this. Um, I work in a bookstore and they had this blurbed from someone who works with me so I picked it up because I thought it would be really good. Plus a lot of people love Nora Roberts and I haven't read anything by her but this one seemed a little bit different than some of the other things that she has written and more um like fantasy themed which is my go-to so hopefully I'll enjoy this. And then I saw this on there and I was really excited for this because I hadn't heard about this book, but it's from the show Grimm. I can't remember what network it was on. Maybe the CW, maybe sci-fi, one of those. Um, it was the fairy tale and folklore from that show. So I'm hoping this will be pretty good. It's a bunch of different things like coins of blessings and coins. like bears, lawns, and butchery. So I think this will be a fun companion to that series, which I have finished and really enjoyed. Uh, next I got Storyteller, which is book three of the Reader Trilogy. Early this year I picked up um, one of them, I think the Reader from the Dollar Tree, and then I got the second one as a gift, I believe. And so now I have the third one. I haven't started this series yet, but the covers on these are really gorgeous. So there's that one. And then Steel Tide, which is the second Seafire novel, I believe. Yeah, the second one. So I got that. Um, I'm probably going to start reading this one this coming month in... Uh, what month are we on? So June, July. So I'm probably going to start this series in July because it seems it's it's water themed and summer for me and water go really well. So I'm probably going to pick up those. And if I have any other like mermaid-y things or other water themed like mythology fantasy things, I'm probably going to start reading those in July as well. So I'm very excited to get into this. And so that's everything that I got this time in my book outlet haul. I feel like I usually get like one or two more, but I think some of them, like I think Catherine House and The Awakening 
cost more than what I normally do because I normally only spend um, if you spend $35 on there, you get free shipping. So I usually cap it off at there. And then if I want to order again, I'll just spend $35 and make sure that I do it that way. That way it spreads out more, I guess. And I get a good value. So I got this pile here from Book Outlet. So I'm excited to get into some of these. And then everything else that I got this month it's kind of in reverse order right now but I'll just go through it so it's coming with the things that I bought um more recently and then things that I got further earlier in the month are at the bottom so this I picked up because someone at work um had like a customer at work had ordered this series and it's from the life as we know it which I read back in high school and I didn't know there was a fourth book. So I read all three of these and they had ordered all four and I didn't know there was a fourth book. So I picked it up as soon as I found that out. So I'm excited to get into this. It's The Shade of the Moon. I don't know if it came out that far away from the other ones, but I did kind of um, read them towards the end of high school and then I had a little bit of a reading lull. So it could have come out during that time. It says 2013. So I was really between 2012 and 2016, 17. I didn't read very much at all. So a lot of things that came out then I haven't read yet and I'm still trying to catch up. So if you, there's a lot of series that if you've seen any of my other stuff, you can tell, or if you've seen some of my book, um, Instagram things, there's a lot of book series that I haven't started yet. And a lot of them started during that time so I'm still trying to catch up on a lot of that stuff um next thing I got was this book uh it was only five dollars so I had to grab it because I really like mythology and this goes into Greek Celtic uh Norse Chinese African Native American and more so I just picked this up I'll probably not like read this in one sitting I'll probably read this throughout the course of the year and just read one or two whenever I have a moment so there's that one and I liked the gold lettering on that too. I thought that was really nice. Next I got For the Wool by Hannah Witten. Um, this is um, as the only second daughter born in centuries, Red has one purpose, to be sacrificed to the wolf in the Wilder would in the hopes that he'll return the world's captured gods. So that's the very beginning of that. It was um, the monthly pick at Martins and Noble for this month. So if you wanted to pick it up, you still can. If you go into your Barnes and Noble, if they still have it, it probably has one of these, but I can't guarantee that. And then that means that you could buy one, get another one 50% off. So you could look around for those deals. And then my book of the month. I haven't started reading this one yet, but I did read um, The Lost Apothecary this month, which was my book of the month from a month or two ago whenever it came out. But this one I am pretty excited for. I was, when I saw the book of the month list this month, I was a little disappointed because I wasn't into, I think there was a YA one and I wasn't really into that one. And then there was like a fantasy one, but it was Arthurian fantasy and I've already read Legendborn this year and I still have I don't remember what they're called but the Camelot books that came out one of them came out earlier this year but the other one came out the year before I still have that series to read and I just thought it was kind of too much so I picked this one but after I picked it I found out that a lot of people are really into this one for some reason by this author she wrote something else that I can't remember off the top of my head, but this one is about one night in the summer, um, in August, 1983, at an end of summer party. And it's about multiple different characters at that party. So hopefully this is a quick, enjoyable read and I'm excited to find out why everyone's hyping this up so much. And next I picked up Cemetery Boys. I'm going to be reading this one probably mid July I think um I have to see where I can put it on the list but I do want to get to this one in July so we'll see how that goes 
um, I couldn't get it in to June for Pride Month, but I still want to get to it very soon. And I'm excited because I've heard a lot of good things about this book. And then the rest of this pile are all books that I picked up at the thrift store and I didn't purchase full price. Um, the first one we have is Jennifer Weiner, Weiner, Fly Away Home. There's a lot of women that come in looking at my job looking for this author in particular. So, and I've never read anything by them, so I thought I'd give it a shot. This one was at Goodwill, I believe, and so I picked it up. And hopefully I'll enjoy it as well. It, but um, it's about, looks like a 57-year-old mom and a 24-year-old daughter. And it's about their stories coming together, I believe. So hopefully that's good. I got... This one was only about a dollar, I believe. Also at Goodwill, he's just not that into you. It's very short, so that won't take very long to read it all. It's just basically like a self a self help book. So it'll be very quick to get through, and it I don't remember when it came out, but it was a very nineties inspired cover. Let's see. It came out in 2004. So there's that. And then this one is also really hyped up at my job. Not sure why, but it's by um, Kirsten Hannon, Hannah. Um, it's The Four Winds. I also found this at Goodwill, which I was very surprised for because it's new. It came out this year, I believe. Yep, 2021. And I only paid a couple dollars for this, so it's always good to check your thrift stores to see what books they have. Um, but yeah, saves a lot of money that way. And I do like this cover. I don't know how I'm going to feel about the book because um, I didn't want to get it at full price, so I'm happy I found it for the cheaper cost. It does have this fun golden, I don't know, like, what would those be? Maybe like weeds blowing in the wind and the scattering off. I'm not really sure, but it is pretty. And so I'll let you guys know how I feel about that. On um, When I get to it, I always do little um, how many star ratings I give it at the end of the month once I read something. On my Goodreads, you'll find those, and on my Instagram. When I post my end of the month book updates, you can find those there. Sometimes if I have time, I do have a blog that I don't really keep that up to date where I'll put like um, my whole thoughts on the book and what I felt about them during reading. So that could be up to date at some point. I don't know if this book in particular will get up there, but I will try to keep updating that whenever I have time. Um, the next thing I got was The Death of Mrs. West Away by Ruth Ware. I haven't read anything by Ruth Ware. I've been trying to get um, a copy of Turn of the Key at a thrift store because I didn't know how much I would like them, but everyone likes the Turn of the Key, so I might pick one up at some point. But I found this one there, so I picked it up, and I'm excited to try out this author and see how much I like them, or if I like them. And there's just a couple more. I got... You hear that sticker? It's the sticker sound. I took off stickers on these before filming this. But the next one is Immortal by PC Cast. Um, well, it was edited by her. It's a bunch of short um, love stories with bite, is what the little blurb says. And I really love the House of Night series by PC and Kristen Cast. So I figured I would like this as well. And it's nice and short, short stories. Um, so if I go to the beach or something, this would be something to take with me there. So I'm excited to add that to my collection. Then I found this one at a local thrift store that wasn't Goodwill. This is Billy Piper Growing Pains. It's um, like her biography memoir. Uh, there's the front cover with her on Doctor Who. And it says, pop star at 15, married in Vegas at 18. 
time traveler and actor Billy Piper has lived more lives at 24 than most of us ever will. How does it feel growing up so fast? Funny, honest, and life affirming this untold story of the country's most famous girl next door. So I'm actually pretty excited to get into that. It is kind of long. There are some pictures throughout it, which is kind of nice. So I don't know when I'll get through this whole thing, but I do really like her as an actress. So I'm excited to read this at some point. Then I found The Stranger in the Woods, um, which is a book of the month edition, but I did find it at the thrift store. It came out to book of the month in March, 2017. I always find it kind of funny when I find book of the month editions in the wild, so to speak. So I picked this one up. It's um, a true story, I believe, which usually is kind of a deterrent for me, but this one was pretty short and it seemed like it was pretty good. It's um, the extraordinary story of the last true hermit is what it says there. And it's about this guy who picks up and heads into the woods to live alone. Uh, and he lives alone in the woods of Maine for 27 years. Um, yeah, so I figured this was pretty short and hopefully I'll enjoy it. And then the last thing that I got is The Secret of Spell Shadow Manor, which immediately caught my interest because it sounded very like fantasy um, based. It says, like most sane people, student Alex Weber thought he was hallucinating. Perhaps he had just consumed something bad at the party he had been attending that night, or he was severely overtired. But when he sees the mysterious man following Natalie again the next day, he can no longer disbelieve his eyes. Although Natalie denies the existence of the man, Alex sees her walking with him down a road in their neighborhood he's never seen before. And can't help but follow. After a bizarre but strangely short journey, he finds himself standing before a massive iron gate wreathed in gray ivory, behind which looms a decrepit old house named Spell Shadow Manor. So that sounded really interesting. Um, there was a book. Wait, do I have it here? I need to like reach out. Yeah, um, Reverie by Ryan Lasala. It kind of felt the blurb at least felt a little similar to parts of that story like towards the beginning where um there was also some kind of creature following someone or something like that it just kind of felt reminiscent of that and I know how much I liked Reverie I know this isn't the same thing but I made that connection and immediately wanted to grab it plus that in the title so I picked that up plus I wanted to pick up more things um that are male based because i read a lot of stories that have female main characters and i'm trying to get more male based things so if you guys have any recommendations for that that would be really nice especially if it's um either fantasy sci-fi or like an lgbt thing those are the things i like to read most often but if you have any other recommendations for um male main character books that would be cool um, this is a lot of books that I picked up this month. I usually don't pick up this many books, but this month I did. So let's see. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 books that I picked up this month. That's a lot. So this is kind of a long video. I'll try to shorten it down if I can, but I will put a thing about halfway through that says when I finished unboxing the box if you just wanted to watch the unboxing you don't have to watch all of this but if you did thank you for watching this far um normally i would try to hold all of these books up to show them to you but there is quite a lot so i can't do that unfortunately but i'm if you're still here thank you for watching and um i'll be posting hopefully the i will create video next um otherwise if something else pops up i might post something else but until next time bye guys